So how do you actually write on the board? One of the best features of an interactive whiteboard is being able to use it as a normal whiteboard to actually be able to write on it as an electronic flip chart. In order to do that, you need to open the software that runs on the board. In the case of the Promethean board, it's some software which is called Active Inspire. You'll either see a shortcut on the desktop, my shortcut is over here, Active Inspire, or if you can't see that on the computer you're using, if you go into the Start menu, into All Programs, and if I just come down a little bit, under, under Whiteboards, Whiteboard software, you should find the software. So I'm just going to open up Active Inspire. And this is the software that comes with the board. And you can see that it's in the system tray at the bottom here. And you can see that it's on the taskbar at the bottom, just opening up. And here we are. So once the software is open, this is what it looks like. You have a dashboard here, and then you have a toolbar just over here. The dashboard enables you to create a new flip chart. This is called a flip chart. So we can create a new flip chart, we can open a flip chart, we can import a PowerPoint, we can import from Smart Notebook. What I'm going to do is just close that down and you can see that we've got just a blank flip chart with one page, page one of one. So if I want to write on this, all I need to do is ascribe various qualities to my tool, to my pen. So if I choose pen and I choose the blue and I choose that thickness, I can can write on the board. If I wanted to that to be a rubber, I could easily just do that, etc. Let's do something else, okay. A bit thicker. Oops. Colour. Make sure that's the pen. So it's very easy just to write on the board. Once you have some notes, you might want to turn your notes into text. And again, that's very easy to do. If I now select this as a select tool, like a cursor, I can highlight this text just simply by clicking and dragging. And you'll see that you get some different options at the top here. If I click the third one along, I can say convert to text, and that will convert that to text. This is one of the best uses, I think, of an interactive whiteboard, being able to convert your annotations to text, and then you can save the document, put it onto Google, email your students, you've got a record of your lesson. Or you could just save it as a notebook, as a flip chart file, and then uh, use it again next lesson, for example. So that's how to write very easily on the board.